Title State and Federal Lawmakers Failing America's Injured Workers, A Tragic Call for Federal Standards and National Work Comp Commission. Introduction The recent death of a 16-year-old immigrant worker, Duvin Thomas Perez, in a poultry factory in Mississippi, has shed light on the appalling conditions faced by America's injured workers. The tragedy has exposed the failure of state and federal lawmakers to protect vulnerable workers and highlights the urgent need for minimum federal standards, similar to the fight for a federal minimum wage. This article will explore the incident in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and the broader issue of migrant child labor in dangerous jobs. We will also discuss the response from the Biden administration and the challenges faced by injured workers seeking justice. The Poultry Factory Tragedy Duvin Thomas Perez's heartbreaking story exemplifies the plight of many immigrant children who are forced into dangerous work at an early age. Duvin, who came to the United States from Guatemala six years ago, tragically lost his life while cleaning heavy machinery at the poultry plant. Witnesses reported that the machinery was left on, leading to the fatal injury and apparent major safety violation. It is worth noting that child labor laws in Mississippi prohibit the employment of minors in slaughterhouses and meat packing plants, yet enforcement remains inadequate. Widespread Exploitation of Migrant Children The incident in Hattiesburg is not an isolated case. A major investigation by the New York Times has exposed the exploitation of migrant children across the United States, with over 100 unaccompanied migrant children, mainly from Central America, describing grueling and hazardous working conditions. These children work in factories that produce products for prominent brands such as Cheerios, Whole Foods, Target, Walmart, and more. They are also employed in other risky sectors like cleaning staff at hotels, construction sites, and car factories, where they face serious violations of child labor laws. The Biden administration's response The shocking revelations prompted swift action from the Biden administration. In response to the New York Times investigation, the administration announced a comprehensive crackdown on the labor exploitation of migrant children. The Department of Labor and the Department of Health and Human Services announced new actions to combat child labor violations and ensure that sponsors of unaccompanied migrant children are thoroughly vetted. These measures aim to provide better support for migrant children and enforce stricter labor standards, the importance of federal standards. Despite the commendable response from the Biden administration, the tragedy in Hattiesburg and the broader issue of migrant child labor underscore the critical need for federal standards to protect America's injured workers. Currently, labor laws vary significantly between states, resulting in inconsistent protection for workers across the country. Federal standards for worker safety, particularly for children, would ensure a uniform level of protection regardless of location and employer. Challenges faced by injured workers the plight of injured workers, especially migrant children, is exacerbated by the lack of knowledge about their legal rights. Many children are afraid to report violations due to fear of jeopardizing their immigration status. This makes it essential to ensure that workers, especially vulnerable minors, are aware of their rights and have access to legal support. Union Involvement and Advocacy it is disheartening to see that some unions have not been proactive in addressing the issue of exploited workers, including migrant children. Unions play a crucial role in protecting workers' rights and should actively advocate for stronger labor laws, comprehensive health and safety regulations, and better protections for all workers, regardless of their origin. Conclusion The death of Duvin Thomas Perez and the exploitation of migrant children in dangerous jobs across the country expose a significant failure of state and federal lawmakers to protect America's injured workers adequately. The Biden administration's commitment to addressing the issue is a step in the right direction, but it highlights the urgent need for minimum federal standards for worker safety. Labor unions must also play an active role in advocating for stronger protections to ensure that all workers, including the most vulnerable, are treated with dignity and respect. Only through collective action and meaningful change can we prevent such tragedies from occurring and build a fair and just society for America's workers.